Yeah, and I'm I'm really excited. I, I think that you know if there's a team that's going to bring out something new and uh, sort of try and uh, make something happen with it, it's definitely going to be OG. And already at the early goings in the mid lane, uh, Thompson looking to see if a ward is placed, but Nigma is right there on the outside. This is the weirdest standoff ever. Neither of them know the other one's there. <laughs> <laughs> This is exactly what you'd expect after this draft, to be honest. Right. But, but uh, like, I have to, because I'm trying to, I can't wrap my head around anything but the Chen, to be honest. Like, you pick Chen into, like, Wyvern, Lina, Mars. Like, these are heroes that I think Chen is traditionally bad against. And what Chen usually wants is you want to have superior team fight. So when you go to a tower, you can force them into your team fight. And, you know, he's a good team fighter, Hand of God, Early Mech, etc. And he has creeps to push towers, but I don't think they have that this game, etc. And you can see that already at the early goings, No Tail going to have a creep for himself from the lane up top and try and put some pressure on, uh, but gets bulwarked back uh, by Mind Control, playing together with Kuro there. Uh, 113 hero pick banned in TI-10 qualifiers. So we're right up there on the edge. Uh, and to be honest, some of those heroes that look unpicked they pulled back in. Some body blocks coming in from No Tail. They tried to get on top of him, but they weren't quite able to. And in fact, it's Sumail that takes a couple of punches back from Curl on that hoodwink. And Mind Control still standing there with the uh, Mind Stealer and is going to be able to uh, at least draw the aggro for a second of that small camp. So these lanes kind of breaking down in weird situations. Uh, we also saw GH get forced back there. Miracle farmed up the hard camp himself. He's just spamming out the uh, wave and then running back to it. It's so fast with the Lesh as, well, they're trying to go, but they're not going to be able to find anything there. Sumail is level nine. Like, they, they're, 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 all of their cores are quite farmed. So he's getting gold from that. Axe is going to have his blink dagger timing, and I think it's going to be gold time soon. I really yeah. like this. Oh. Well, I mean, this is this is going to be the problem, right? Like, this rotation in from GH secures that kill. They get the Winner's Curse into the LSA, and Laguna Blade finished. Like, I, I, if there's somebody that's going to be able to hold off this tide of aggression, it's got to be Miracle, because he's looking for the call. Catches onto GH. Miracle's over there. Looking for the big LSA, but not going to find it. Now rotation coming in from Mars. My control trying to take this fight, but it is an overwhelming amount of damage. Break, but look at the heal coming in from the Chen. Hand of God comes out, Mars Arena is now down, Roll and Poli back and forth, Thompson finds one. LTW staying right on top of Seb, but now running out, he has to jump inside of Mind Control with that Infest to try and buy it, but no, Seb! He jumps in, they still have the Infest afterwards, gets inside of Mind Control, that keeps him alive. This was about as perfect as you could play it for Nigma, and they still lose the tower, but Lesh does go down. Can they find anything else? Looking for it, oh, cancel Blink Dagger, and now the Winner's Curse. A chance for a turnaround. Miracle, he's got that LSA afterwards. Connects onto both, finds the finish. Double kill for Miracle, so they hold off that aggression. And Curl gives No Tail the tip. I see what you were doing. Oh, Miracle walks into a stray bramble in the back away. At the, the low respawn times, everybody's back up and they can't punish with the tower of their own. So like you said, they get the kills, but Nygma not able to secure the towers. They catch this life stealer now, tries to get away, tries to get out, not gonna happen. They're just speed running the map right now on OG. That's what it feels like. <laughs> for sure, and you can see all their items are for it as well. Thompson, he went for the quick Echo Saber. Lashak went for stats and a hood. If you combine these with the heals coming out from Chen, as long as you don't dive, Nygma shouldn't have damage for you. Oh, no good curse. A chance. No Tail still has Hand of God and the mechanism afterwards, but can they bring him down regardless? Sumail just gets full heal, but it might not be enough. They brought numbers from Nigma and they punish. Nigma again with the good reads. OG are showing heroes top, they're showing heroes bottom. They're not done on Nigma though, they're still going for Chen. Yeah. Even Wanting if you just cut a creep, so like screw the hero if you play against Chet. Ooh, <laughs> the big bushwhack into LSA. Yeah, all those creeps go down, uh, so they'll get those kills. But they lose another tower. You know, th these big rotations, they find the kills, but it does cost them these objectives. And OG are taking full advantage when they're spread out. Seb almost has a Manta style on Axe. He's off an Axe. He's way more farmed than most safe lane Axes we've seen. And he's just beasting it. He's even bought his own smoke because when Sumail comes in with full resources, they understand that they're strong here. The enemy has used curse, um, maybe expend some resources, and it's just a two-man smoke. And looking for the jump. Didn't get rage off or anything. The stun comes afterwards. 
And LTW gonna get dropped. So a good rotation finds the kill. And you know where they're going. There's only one place, down bottom. It's such a it's such an interesting game to study because Nigma, they're sort of punishing them on kills. And they're like getting decent map control from those kills. But OG, they're playing everywhere. They jump just... forward. They find him again. Uh on GH looking for that stun, not gonna come through. Managing to back away for the moment. Actually gonna throw out the winner's curse just to get a little bit of separation, but the rest of OG are looking to dive TPs out. Can he get away? The call oh it just barely gets there. And they will find that that kill wall, the tower drops. Sumail right there on top of it. Uh, and one of his highest net worths ever since playing TI5 on Seb for this game. Uh, it's just, you know, a combination of a hero that obviously he knows well, feels good about. And then on top of that, it being meta and the jump forward, the call. Oh, this is huge. They need to try and reset this one. Cold Embrace there for the save. Now they get the Winner's Curse to try and turn this. EKB out, LSA gonna connect. They need to take down Thompson. Will it be enough? Right click's coming through with the heal. It's more than enough. Miracle still staying as BKB, and then they jump out the call afterwards, trying to kill him, and they're gonna get him. Miracle drops. They lose ILTW to boot, and the heal, it's just too much. They've got an arena, but I, I, you can't really get out of this one with the heroes that matter, at least. They already got the lean and the life stealer. And Chad, he's, he's looking like a good hero this game. Yeah, no doubt. It's like instead of playing, because you don't want to play Chen with your standard carries that go jungle. Instead, they draft him with an aggressive carry that gets more in stats. I mean, Sumail, he went back for the points in Split Earth, which is really good there because he landed this huge two man stun in that fight. This is crazy. I, I mean, and like, how often do you see Axe get to like blink Vanguard Manta and then had enough gold for the shard? It wasn't 20 minutes. He has like all the pieces that he needs now of the kit. Uh, a little interesting that he's opting to go back for the boots of travel instead of just that straight BKB, but I guess they want to like be able to keep the lanes kind of shoved out and stuff. But this game has just completely fallen off the rails. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna try. There are a lot of illusions punching that guy, but is it enough? Winner's curse to try and turn this around. They're still spinning, still doing that damage, but LTW gets it off. Able to walk away from that one still. Uh, the chase is really strong. GH trying to back away. They drop down the arena, just hoping to escape from this one. But the curse crown is there. Miracle, big LSA, connects onto two. Can they kill him off in time? Seb dropping down low. Can they finish him? Yes. They take down one. LTW, not enough save. The damage coming from Sumail is just too intense, but they find him there. Oh, the root. They had the LSA primed up, but they weren't able to get close enough. Good play from the Willow. Soxa there, salvaging Sumail's life. Gets the rage off first though, Kuro. Throws out the bushwhack, Sumail. Standing tall. Oh, he got the rage off earlier. Winner's curse into the fear. Tries to back away, but they have that LSA afterwards. Connects now onto Sumail. Right clicks. Coming through. Oh! Soxa came in and soaked the sharpshooter. That keeps him alive. And now the one afterwards back on a miracle. Can they keep him alive though? Hold Embrace yet again. Wyvern being so strong. And now jumped inside by that life stealer. Trying to turn on the Chen. Seeing if they can find that kill to stop all of the healing. But the chop came onto the backside. They find themselves another kill here. LSA round two, no, he's taunted, he's caught, and he is in trouble. Miracle goes down again. ILTW just doesn't have the damage at this point, and they're gonna turn onto every one of them. Yule Scepter lift up, ILTW trying to back away. Kuro is dead as well, they jump forward for the kill. As the taunt comes out, ILTW trying to escape, but they got him. The chase down, the eventual finish. And one last time, Kuro looking for the snipe. It's not gonna matter. The roll hit from Thompson into the face. He takes the sharpshooter to the face and gets himself out. I'm gonna pick up my basher on my way back home. On Sumail, incredibly hard to deal with. I mean, they, they do have a timing coming up, right? If they can get to Scotty on the life at MKB on Lina, those okay. items do allow you to punch through these heals. But honestly, it's still not that close. LTW, it's he got. His late, like he knew what his laning games. He picked right. Lifestar as a counter, and he just hasn't had any real farm this game. I don't really think he's had any impact. It's six deaths. Just Dude. hot miracle yet again. Bushwhack trying to salvage it, but it's not going to happen. They drop down that Lena another time, giving him the tip afterwards. And well, one by one, they go through, find the kill onto Kuro.
and they have some ideas about Dota, that's for sure. OG looking good. Now looking for more. They find LTW as well. He's gonna get Cold Embrace there. Winter's Curse afterwards, but Seb just goes for GH. Fine, you won't let me kill LTW. I'm coming for you. Bash. Get the TP out. No, they got the Bash! And then into the taunt, walks right into it. There was nowhere left to go. OG find another one. GH tries to get away. It ain't gonna happen. Damn, dude. The thing is, like, if you look at their drafts on paper, I think everyone in their head's like, oh my god, they have a Chen, they have no real carry, how are they gonna win this game? But OG's really showing sort of a next level of Dota, where they're running at their opponent, and they, they're even, like, all taking objectives, taking away their farm, they're just stacking their own jungle, just being so efficient with everything, hitting their timings. This is insane levels of play coming out. I mean, I guess it's expected, right? They won two TIs, but they, did, they never looked like this in the past, like, couple of years. This is insane coming from them. It's a different style for sure. And trying to take a mechanic that, you know, is in the game and exploiting it to its maximum extent. And that's what we're seeing here. And it's working beautifully. Now, again, you've got Nigma. They were able to pressure that tier two tower a little bit, but they've lost a lane of racks and are down 19,000 gold. Uh, the other thing that we've got pretty soon is, speaking of old school, uh, Chen has his Aghanim shards. So they've got the send back now. LTW, get him caught, okay, spear back afterwards, they got everything on him, brings him down, that's the fight that they need, and now Sumail, gonna try and chase him a little bit here, do they have enough left in the tank after using everything on Decep, curse crown, fear afterwards, did connect on to LTW, and now trying to bring down Sumail, oh god, LTW's getting smacked though, he gets absolutely demolished, Soxa now going to die in that winner's curse, LSA not gonna connect, Thompson right on top of him, Sumail, the big bad carry who has so much magic damage is going to be able to outdo the cold embrace. It's not nearly enough. Dead for 80 seconds as GH tries to TP back home, but even with Seb dead, Sumail is a whole nother problem. And that was, I think that was the best execution on the best target that could have come, come up from Nigma. They killed the enemy, I'm going to say their carry, okay. uh, without even using Arena, and it just wasn't enough. Spear back now. Trying to find something else onto Thompson, but didn't quite catch there. Sharp he shooter, said, oh. <laughs> oh my god, what a freaking G. Thompson feeling himself right now. Oh man. Did only hit Miracle until he was dead. I mean, it's not what you expect, but this Pangler, he's he's tanky and he does a lot of damage now with this build. Yo, where is the Holy Locket at though for No Tail? I've been waiting for that one. He's going for a Solar Crest instead. I guess he's got enough healing now. He just wants to get other utility oriented items. Farms a jungle. Jump forward, try really to get it. Oh, he went right into the stun. My control, get out of there. It's a dangerous place to be. Another round of the stun, the terrorize. All the circles are on the ground and nobody likes them. Can they bring this man down? Taunt afterwards, he's dead. So many Venn diagrams and all of it spells the end of Nigma as they are looking to lose this game number one, barring a miracle. It doesn't start right here. They get that winner's curse. Now trying to bring down one, but the cheese comes out. Thompson able to get out of there afterwards. Sumail running in, Seb on top of GH. They find that finish. Buybacks from both the Mars and that winner Wyvern. But OG, they got what they came for. Clear that Rax. And now back out. And that was basically without Seb being there at the start of the fight. He was finishing his jungle. Uh, he's finishing his Assault Caress in the jungle, you know, the normal thing to do as your team pushes high ground. Sumail just jumps, just goes right on top of Kuro. Now the jump, the call is there yet again, finding mind control. There's no buyback. I, I feel like I've seen this story before with OG and it might end in the fountain. Or maybe they just keep their eyes on the prize, focus on the buildings. Chen does go down. How dare you kill our captain? We're coming for you, Miracle. As the chase down continues, they'll find that kill. Kamel's going into the fountain, popping the bloodstone, trying to live. There's the Ghost Scepter afterwards, able to live and get the blink out. But this is Ancient down and GG in just a moment. As OG come in, pick the Chen, dominate the early game, take down the towers, and now gonna finish it off. Easy as pie. No, Nigma, they're, they're too confused to even GGL until after the throne <laughs> falls. Like, they, they need to spend all their time Damn, talking dude. about this game because yeah. Miracle, like, what the hell just happened? I, I'm not sure. It, it, it is a... I want to look real quickly.